Countless household items from food packaging like microwave popcorn and pizza boxes to nonstick cookware to stain-resistant carpeting and furniture can have a common ingredient, PFAS. PFAS is a family of man-made chemicals used widely for their strength since the 1940s. They repel water and oil. They're also heat-resistant. PFAS are also used in factories and industrial products like firefighting foams, paints and varnishes, and much more. These chemicals are virtually indestructible, with the nickname Forever Chemicals. Here's why. PFAS stands for per- and polyfluoroalkyl substances, a chemical family that includes thousands of compounds that share a common bond between carbon and fluorine. It's this bond that makes them so strong, almost indestructible. In modern replacement products for legacy compounds like PFOA and PFAS, scientists replace some of the carbon atoms with oxygen atoms. Scientists sort PFAS into categories based on their slightly different structures. Some of these categories include perfluoroalkyl sulfonates and perfluoroalkyl carboxylates, which include PFOA and PFAS, fluorotelomer sulfonates, or FTS, and per- and polyfluoroether substances. Some of these are called Gen X. PFAS don't break down. They cycle through the air, soil, and water, and even enter the food chain. They can be found in fish we eat, building up in the fish from low PFAS levels sometimes found in lakes or rivers. PFAS can also seep into groundwater used for drinking water. Some PFAS are known to be toxic and to cause health problems. Over time, some PFAS accumulate and stay in the body. Scientists have found trace levels nearly everywhere in the environment and low levels in people and animals around the globe. Considered a chemical of concern, PFAS are not regulated by the Environmental Protection Agency. State and local governments are working diligently to clean up contamination and minimize risks. In Minnesota, the Pollution Control Agency and Department of Health are working together to reduce levels of PFAS in drinking water and the environment. For more information, including where PFAS exists in Minnesota, visit the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency's website.